Okay, here we go. So we're going to dive into Trigon. Okay, here we go. So we are an admiral at one of the largest federal fleets, caught in the middle of a warfare against the alliance of extracting companies. You find yourself cut off. Death is inevitable, but an admiral never surrenders without a fight. Don't chicken out, guys. They don't know who they're messing with. Right, welcome aboard the Centenary Hawk. I'm the captain and your crew can't wait to execute your command. This scenario will teach you the basics of steering the ship and commanding the crew. Right? So the level of your energy correlates to the level of your reactor. Which is... Where's that? Is that the bottom? Oh, that's my reactor there, I guess. The icons in the bottom toolbar show the systems on your ship. The systems consume the energy produced by the reactor. I can regulate the amount of consumed energy with left and right mouse buttons. Okay. I don't know what the systems actually are, though. Shield generator, med bay, and O2. So it's elements of FTL already. So let's see how the combat is. So these icons at the bottom left are the subsystems. These subsystems don't consume the energy, and the slot under each shows their level. So, we've got doors, sensors, and captain's bridge. Okay, and then what next? Each system and subsystem occupies a module. If your ship is damaged, its, its system can run out of order. If there is a crew member in the module, its system gets a bonus. Again, reminiscent of FTL. And the top toolbar contains the current level of your hull strength and the strength scale of your shield. The, sk the shield is used to prevent the hull from weapon shots. Right, so how do we differentiate between the two on that? That's credit. That's hull and that's shield. So once the shield falls, hull takes damage. Roger, roger. And this is the number of days of your adventure. Please note, a journey from one system to another takes one game day. Cool. And that's my credits. Fair enough. Oh, credits, food, and what's that one? Fuel. Uh, you shouldn't stay too long. You must fly on. To do this, you need to turn your hyperdrive on. Use your left mouse button to click on the hyperdrive symbol. Um, and redistribute the energy from the reactor to hyperdrive. Okay, a short circuit has damaged the hyperdrive. The system has turned red, indicating it's now out of order. Ugh. The hull of your ship will now get some damage if a missile hits the already broken system. Your crew can repair it. Right, so I've got to left click on them and then send them to the hyperdrive compartment. So, hyperdrive's there. You can also send the unit to repair the module by clicking the right mouse button. So we're going to try and repair this hyperdrive here. So it's automatically repairing this now. So we're going to repair it and then turn it on again, I guess. Right. The unit's characteristics can be found in the upper part of the toolbar. They include the movement priority, speed of movement, point the curse at a characteristic to learn more about it. So this is Mel. 2 agility, 4 attack, 4 range, repair... Oh, so you weren't even that good at repair then. So I suppose you have to choose who to send into different areas. If your unit has specialization, they are displayed in the lower part of the toolbar. Um, specializations are useful skills that a unit develops. So where's the specializations? This one? Engineer. Oh, so maybe you are low in engineer skill. Well, repair skill, but you're an engineer. That's going to be hard to remember. To learn more about your crew, click on the ship management button. So we'll click on that and click crew. We can learn more. Oh, so I've only got three people on the ship. Okay, try to get try to gather a crew compromised of the most exquisite specialists. So I've got Ling, Krill, and Mai. So what's Ling? What are you good at? You're timid, but you've got incredible luck. Krill has got great vitality and thick skin. And my has got a limp. <laughs> okay, what a motley crew. Let's close that. There is a fire in one of your modules. Your crew can put out the fire. However, this time, let's... Do you know what? I don't know if this is by the same people as FTL, but this is just like the FTL tutorial. Um, Open the door. So we're going to open the door and send the fire out. When you open the door, all the oxygen is sucked out in the module, which will now help putting the fire out. The, mo 
The module gradually turns red, telling you how much oxygen's in it. Right, so we'll close the door again. That should go normal again. Um, this is going to get really complicated, isn't it, with the um, the fights and the thing. All right, so we need to find out who's got the best pilot skill. Your captain has the highest piloting skill. Send the captain to the bridge. So, Ling, go to the bridge. And you can tell who's the captain by a small icon with a star next to them. All right, we need to get out of here then. This is my current bounty level. Okay, so this is just like FTL, isn't it? It's uh, We need to just leap into another system. This is a star map which is used to travel between the systems and to pin your current location. It's divided into sectors. Right, to learn more about a sister, point the cursor at it. And then go there. Looks, bright, looks quite pretty, though. I will give it that. So, we need to make sure we've got people in all the modules then. We're going to fight someone now. We've got an aligned ship. Hmm. In quite a number of situations, you'll find yourself in a situation like this, and you'll see several options. So, as you will see, several options for each case. Continue or blue. Blue options are available for you if you have a particular perk. You need to turn on your weapons. Okay, we're going to fight it then. Click the left mouse button on each weapon. So what have we got for weapons? Um, armory module. So it's that one. And we've got a Mark II blaster. So click the left mouse button on this. And then use the same mouse button to choose the module in the enemy ship you want to take out. So now with FTL, I normally always take out um, like shields first. And then go for the weapons. So, I can go for Armoury, Hyperdrive, or Bridge. Should we go for that one, that uh, Armoury? Tactical... Oh, Tactic Pause Control buttons are located in the top right. There is always the Space button for now. Right, let's unpause it. Let's just press Space. Wait until my weapon loads and makes a shot. So, that's this one. I'm going to fire at this. Okay, he's pew pewed. We've already got one person on the uh, shield here. Okay, teach them how to fight. Destroy the ship. Okay, we did a shot at it. The shield's down now, so I'm going to keep shooting at it. Let's go for the bridge next. There we go. Went a bit too easy. Okay, in quite a few number of systems, you'll find yourself in a situation like this, and you'll see several options. Oh, your weapon and your crew help you turn the enemy ship into junk. So we've managed to grab some junk. We've got 150 scrap. We've got a rocket launcher and a laser cutter. Ooh, that sounds different. So we've got some new weapons. Let's have a little look then. Drag the weapon from to the new slot. So we've got a rocket launcher and we've got a laser cutter. Please note, the energy in your reactor, as well as the level of your armory, is not enough to activate all your weapons. I need to upgrade my armory module. Go to the ship tab. So we'll go over here. And I need to upgrade my reactor. So how do I do this, son? Increase your capacity of your cargo hold. And repair your ship. So it needs to upgrade your armory module and your reactor to continue. So this is the armory. So we'll do that via one. Do that. Click accept. Remember to turn on your guns before jumping. Please note the weapons have different characteristics. Your rocket launcher needs ammunition. The same time it can penetrate shields. Your laser inflicts low damage. However, a single shot can hit several systems at once. Right, um... Should I turn me uh, late that on? I'll turn that on then. And then jump. So let's jump to the next sector. Try out my new uh, weapons then. Here we go. I almost feel like I should get uh, one of my crew onto the guns as well. 
Time to demonstrate what you've learned. Show that Federation never surrenders without a fight. All right, let's do... Continue. Let's pause. I'm going to stick you on the armory. Because I'm assuming armory. I think if you stay on the gun... If it's like FTF, if you stay on this, it means it does your evasion up. But I've got you on the shield, and I'm going to put you on the guns. So hopefully that means that's how that's going to work. Right, so we've got multiple weapons now. Got a rocket launcher that's loading a thing we've got this which is a laser gun look how many people he's got on his ship though let's go for his um armory first okay that hardly did anything now he has got this laser cutter so let's go for shield and that is that how that works Right, that's charging up. That's charging up. What's this one? That's just the armor in general, I think. Okay, we're taking hits. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look how much that went down there. My shield has got wrecked. Okay, shield is back up now. This is ready to shoot again. Let's go for a shield. Let's go for a shield again. Oh, that fires across a couple of modules, that. I don't understand how we get this working. Longbow rockets. Well, there you go. So click that. Why can I not shoot with it? I don't understand why this one's not shooting. I select the rockets. Oh, we're going to get wrecked. Oh, he's firing, he's firing. Look, look at my stuff going down. The enemy seems to be strong and expected. When a situation seems no win, you can try to escape. To do this, wait till you're it's charging it. Right. So let's just get out of here. Oh, we got really wrecked. It's time to demonstrate what you learned. Show the Federate. I don't think I really want to fight this. Look, though. My, look at my hull. Despite the desperate str st struggle, the Federation lost the last battle. I've just completed my tra my training. Yeah, I just completed my training and realised I absolutely suck at this. So, as you can see, this very much like it's um, FTL. I'm going to do a new game and dive straight into a game and see what it's like to start from the start of it. Because that seems to be throwing me right into it then. So, I can choose what I want at the start. We can go for Human Explorer. What are the stats of this? We start with three people on that one. Ooh, Itari Cruiser. This looks interesting. Profit ship. The captain of such ship sh sh ships never use sensors. So what systems has this got? Okay, and I've got two people on this. What weapons have we got? Mark II Blaster. M Montu Bomb Teleporter. Twin Plasma. And this one's got Blaster and... Oh, we've got to go with this one. Look at this. How cool does this one look? A bomb teleporter. Yeah, you've got, you got me at the word bomb. After shaking off another Van Veneta patrol, you're trying to understand what's going on. Uh, the local communication hub makes it clear that bounty is put on my head. Your friend Ronnie from the asteroid belt knows pretty well where to go to ground. Quest received. Something happened. Okay, so you are on the cap. We've got less modules. Uh, I guess we need to get out of here. Let's get the um, let's get the weapons all ready. Now we can't do that one because we're not going to power. So let's see if we can upgrade the power on the ship. We'll do one one uh, one thing of power in that. Okay. I need to upgrade my armory, I think. So, ship, armory. I've not got enough scrap to do it. Okay, we're just going to stick with the bog, the bog standard laser. We need to go somewhere then. So, where do we need to go to? I'm assuming we need to go there to scat. We're going to work our way towards it. So, here we go. Battle alert, I think. 
you find yourself right on the battlefield. It's been over long, be long before you were born. You were in the memorial system. Okay, so there's nothing really harmful here, I don't think. No, nothing to explore. Open the star map. Wait a minute, we've got something here. Ooh, yeah. Let's get out of here. There's a risk of a fire. We're trying to get towards this. Let's jump again. Hopefully it's a safe system. When looping into the system, you see a strange thing. This is a Ven There is a Venator ship aiming at an old station. Let's come close. Let's see what's going on. The station commander gets in touch. Okay, so what's going on? It's just an abandoned Venator ship with a patrol tracker. We use it to ward Venators off from this system. Let's have a chat. Okay, let's try and dock and have a chat with him. Cool. Got some resources off him. We got a bit of a morale boost for them. We got some fuel and we got some uh, supplies. Nice. That was a nice friendly thing. Now, what's going on here? I think my unit is on fire. Yeah, we need to put the fire out. That's not good. Put the fire out. Um, I think I need to heal you up. Let's put you in the med bay. Okay, we finally managed to put the fire out, I think. <laughs> my, my captain is dying, though. Wait a minute. Did you, did you just die? You did. You died. Okay. This... This hasn't gone too too good. Can can I resurrect you? No. How is that going to work? And can I can I even fight? Oh, this is awkward. Um. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely still dead. As soon as as soon as we get into a fight, we're going to be in trouble. I need more crew. Um, what do they want? We're constantly attacked by pirate fleet. Uh, right, let's arrange us. Let's do a surprise attack then. How is that even going to work out? I need to repair my weapons as well, I think. I think these are uh, damaged. Yeah, my weapons are wrecked. Come on. So I'm down to one person. So this is already a good run. My laser is now repaired. We are waving our tool in the air and fixing it. I need to get back on the uh, captain's thing now. Right, here we go. Let us go. I think my objective has changed. I think he wants me to go over there. So we'll make our way slowly towards it. But, as soon as we have a fight, we're in trouble. Right, there's a delivery job. We ask you to deliver this box. Right, let's, uh, let's, let's help. Right, I've got a parcel now. Uh, I've got a parcel, and all of a sudden I've suddenly jumped into a fight. Okay, let's uh, let's pew pew then. Let's try and go straight for his um, armory then. Okay, bear in mind I can't actually redo my shield again now. Now, how are we supposed to do this? Come on, pew pew. Oh 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 oh! Uh, my shields appear to have vanished, and. Wait a minute. What's happened to the armory? <gasps> What's happened to the armory? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We need to repair this. What's going on? Get your health back. He's, he's doing EMPs on me or something. How do I fix this? I don't think I'm fixing it, am I? I think I'm just burning. Uh, 
I don't know how to fix it. There, there you go. I think we've finally fixed it. Uh, you need to go back in there and get health. You need to try and shoot back. He's just wrecking me. Right. Shoot. Finally. Right. I think I've took his guns down now. He's shooting me again. Come on. Get shooting back at him. I'm just... I'm repairing this. My shields are down to 215. Try and take his uh, shields out. Ow! You broke, you broke me guns. Come on, get shooting him. Okay, he's down to ninety health now. <gasps> well, he's got more health than me. I lose. The captain's dead. Well. That's Trigon, Space Story. It's like a more 3D version of FTL. And as you can see, I absolutely suck at it. Let us know what you think of this in the uh, comments box below. Certainly seems uh, interesting. I think if I didn't suck, that might be kind of uh, might be kind of fun. But uh, yeah, if you did enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a comment below. Leave a thumbs up on the video. And let me know if you like this video below. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. This has been Trigon Space Story. See you next time.